I'm Malcolm Jeffries, and welcome to a very special week on CITV. It's our birthday, 40 years old. Uh, at CITV, not me. Anyway, to help host this week's celebrations, we've managed to track down a family who've watched every single one of the 20,000 hours of programs we've shown. They live here, in the street, in this house. Now, they don't know where around, so we need to keep very... Did you see that was here? Oh, yes. Well, why didn't you say anything? You said to keep quiet. Not if there's a... I mean, not if... <sighs> Just forget it, OK? <clears throat> like I was saying, the family who live here, they're called the Goggles, do nothing but watch TV. But this week, we're going to take over the family's TV set so they can introduce some clips from the best of CO TV. Stars like East 17 will be dropping in, and later, heartthrob lifeguard Jason Simmons will be here live by satellite with today's Simply Best competition and your chance to win a trip to the Baywatch Beach. We'll also be going behind the scenes of top CITV drama, The Wall. So, keeping very quiet, remembering to mention any ponds, let's... <laughs> Did you see that? Oh, yes. Well, why didn't you say anything? It wasn't a pond. I didn't just mean po Oh, forget it. Listen, I don't want to hear another word out of you for the rest of the show. Do you understand? Right. Hold this. So, let's see if anyone's in. Is someone going to get that? They'll have to wait. I'm watching this. Who is it? I don't know, but some young bloke's just rang the doorbell and I want to see who answers the door. It's a bit wet. It's not. He's butch. It's Malcolm Jeffries and he's lovely. Hey, that's that garden looks just like ours. Don't be silly. That garden's a mess. Our garden's a mess. Look, look, he's ringing the doorbell again. Either there's no one in or the people inside are really stupid. Is someone going to get that? How can you hear that? You're stone deaf. Pardon? Oh, all right, all right, I'll get it. Just tell me who lets that Malcolm lad in. I'm... Yeah, 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 come, come in. I can't talk. No, I want to see who opens the door to that Malcolm Jeffries. OK, so who answered the door, then? Don't be silly, it can't be. Look, he's there on the screen, standing next to that fat slob who's pointing his finger. Look. Who let you in? I have a surprise for you. What? You, the Goggles family, have been chosen as the biggest TV addicts in the country to host our week celebrating CITV's 40th birthday. Oh. Addicts. Are you suggesting we spend all our time watching TV? Yeah, we what? hardly ever have to sing on. Only for our attack. And finders keepers. And wolfie. And the ward. And scratching co. And reboot. Oh, right, right, right. I think we've obviously come to the right place. Here. Is there any money in it? I need a new pair of roller boots. Well, um, no. It's supposed to be a great honour. <laughs> to the honour? How about a tenner? Well, no, look... Look, I... what do you want us to do? Exactly. Well, simple. Just choose the best bits from CITV from the past 40 years, covering a different subject each day. Today, it's drama. So, you and I will be working together then, Malcolm. Well, yes, you and I and the rest of the family. You and I, eh? Well, you mean present for real? Well, how do we know what to say, then? You can use idiot boards. What's an idiot board? Um, it's easier if I show you. Excuse me, little girl. Right. An idiot board is something presenters use to... No, it's gone, sorry. Oh, yeah. Remember what they have to say. What did that last one say again? He's too stupid for an idiot board. I won't need an idiot board. I'll do it for a fiver. What do you say? Well, no... I'll do it if I can sing. Sing? Yeah, theme tunes. I know them all. And I've got a wonderful set of lungs. All down to exercise, you know. Closer each day, whom and do we? I'll do it if she doesn't sing! All right, all right, settle down, all of you. You can do whatever you want. You can sing, you can help out with the Baywatch competition. Baywatch? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hi, Jason Simmons here by Satellite from Baywatch. Are you ready for me? Can I ask a question now? No, no, not yet, not yet. We'll be on the beach later. Where was I? Yes, and you can talk to guests like E17. E17? How about three 
50, then. All right. We'll do it if I can go first. No! Yes, I'm the dad. What I say goes. But you're boring and you'll go on and on. No, I won't. I won't. No, I remember when I was a boy, the first ever big children's drama was The Adventures of Robin Hood. Here, I'll look it up in my Trivia Maniacs TV almanac. I remember that. Robin Hood, Robin Hood, riding through the glen. Yeah, I used to run Robin home from Hood, school. Robin Hood, or did I catch the bus? Men, Actually, was I at school? Bad, was I born? Shut up! up! Good shot. I don't know, it's disgusting. There was as much violence on TV then as there is now. Do you see that? Do you see what that oaf did to Robin Hood? Yeah, probably landed the big sissy's tights. Is someone going to get that? Get what? Pardon? Well, I thought it was quite hunky, though. Not as hunky as you, Malcolm. Why, oh, does Malcolm wear tights? No, I don't. <laughs> Look, is someone going to get that? I'll get it, dear, for a tenner. No, look, Grandma. Uh, not so fast, young lads. This tree trunk isn't broad enough for all of us. What tree trunk? This tree trunk that bridges a stream, of course. A stream? Mm. Only one may pass at a time, and I don't intend to retreat. My mm. name <laughs> is Little John. Where is your name? Then you must fight me on this tree trunk. What tree trunk? Weed. Choose your weapon. A broom, a brush? No. They're staffs carved from sturdy oaks. That's a broom and a brush. Fight! You, you shut cowardly up. Robin Hood! Go on, tell. Go on, give it to her! Fight, you okay, cowardly okay. custards, you! Take that, you, are you No! Well, if you want more adventure, there was another Robin Hood 30 years later. Robin of Sherwood. Robin, the hooded man. Shut, shut up! up. Wow, good shot. Oh, he's much hunkier than the last one. On. You think you're winning, don't you, Tony? You're not. No, you're not. Now, this seems great. Robin ambushes the sheriff's men to save Maid Marion. Does he kiss her? Er, uh, please. You know why they're covered in leaves, don't you? No. Why? Because it's an ambush. What? An ambush. Get it? Bush. Ambush. Yes, all right. Stop spoiling it, really, Dad. Ambush. Shut up! We've got to get the girl out. He's so gorgeous. Be quiet. You'll blow his cover. Robin just hung out with the lads and fought the sheriff's men. Maid Marion didn't die. No, she didn't. Come on, Gary, show Gabby the next clip. Yes, show Malcolm Lee the kissing clip. Um, on second thoughts, Gary. No, no, you asked for it. Just relax, Malcolm. Oh, dear. Stay here with me. And Sherwood? And be your May Queen? But what would I be when winter comes? Cold! Oh, stop <laughs> it! It's a lovely moment. And the fire at the cave's mouth. Wrap you in sheepskin. And hold you close. Don't, Don't do, do it, it Robin. Robin! Don't, Don't do, do it! it.
to be kissed by Robin Hood. Gabby, you're so sad. Oh, who's that? That is Wurzel Gummidge. He was a scarecrow that could come to life. He's scary. Yeah, but it was also funny. Here he's teaching the scarecrow language of Wurzelese. Right. If you want to speak like me, say the letters separately. Put a word between each one, and your work is almost done. Now I'll tell you what to do, and the rest is up to you. Put a word after W, a word after O, put a word after R, and it's away we go. Put a word after Z, and put a word after E, a word after L, a cell after were, and you're left with me. I'm sorry, but I still don't understand a word you're saying. Well, perhaps if you spoke to you in person. Oh, don't be so silly. There's no such thing as a talking scarecrow. <laughs> That's what you think. Hey, how you doing? You're doing so well, is you? Why'd you fall down? Oh, like I don't that? know. She always does that, Wurzel. Wurzel. Yes. Welcome to the home of the goggles. Thank you. Take a seat, shall we? That's very kindly. Thank you. Yeah, I'll sit here. Oh no, you sit there, Mary. I'll sit here. It's uh. so, Wurzel. Again, thank you for joining us. And you're looking very handsome today, for most. Yeah, ain't surprising, Mister. I got me handsome head on. What do you mean, handsome head? What do you think, you daft ape? But take a look at me face, yeah. Yeah, isn't that handsome, isn't it? Yeah. Well, oh, you don't think so, eh? So you have, you have different types of head, do you? Right? I've got hundreds of heads. I've got un hundred and eleventy-three heads. I have. Oh. Yes. The crow man made them all di different types. They are. Do you think the crow man can make me look like a scarecrow? You look like a scarecrow as it is. <laughs> no, don't you? You don't. No, you look very handsome yourself. Now, put a carrot nosy on him first. Okay, we'll get yeah. this on. Well, I'll be bum swizzled. He looks a bit like a scarecrow already. That's good. Right now, eyebrows. You've got corn it. Ears of corn, like oh, right, wurzels. Okay. Like wurzels. Yes, okay, go on. Garrett, just head up there, mate. Don't push too hard. You go right through him. There we go. Right. Go on then. There's hardly oh, any oh, difference, really. Oh, didn't it look good? Come on, <laughs> right then, and the beard. Oh, beard. It's a little beard. Oh, okay. The yeah. Carrot, yeah. carrot roots. They are the beard. Oh, a bit older. oh Buzzy McCoon. He looked good, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. Oi, yeah, don't forget them warts. Yeah. All right, we've got some made out the puffs. cereal. Cereal puffs make a good wart. Oh, they are. Excellent. And one down here. Look. Hey, that's it. Well, I'll be bum spells and he do look good, doesn't he? Now, right, try the air on him. The, the goggles wig. I think Mum left this over. From oh, I wonder night. why you had it here for breakfast. Right then. Don't he look good? Look at that. We hey. Oh, you look even more disgusting than normal. Oh, I think it doesn't look too bad. That's a very nice thing to say. Is that your wife? No, I wouldn't have her. Oh, I don't blame you. Oh, before you go, can oh. you um, say happy birthday, CITV, and words of these? Oh, yes. I <coughs> swear I would pee with pee with wife or so. Uh, B where I were I would T were H for D where A were Y were so. Uh, C where I were T with V would dip. Thanks. Thank you, Gary. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. I'm going now. I'm going to have a cup of tea and a slice of cake. Yes. <laughs> Well, I've got no idea where he's 17 have got to, so, um... He's 17? So I guess we'll have to go into the next clip. Anyone know what it is? Beauty then, obviously. And in this clip, Black Beauty tries to save a pit pony from its cruel owner. Come on, get out of here. Mm. 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 Come on. Come on. Ah. Come on. Come on, lad. Get out of the way.
Now, if you thought that was clever, how about a boy who turns himself into a dog? Which is exactly what happens in the series Woof. But what I can't figure out is whether that makes him a particularly clever dog or a very stupid boy. Why don't you make your own minds up? I'm afraid we don't have an axe, but I've got plenty of arrows. And if you don't mind paying a little bit more, this... seen the dog? Yes, he went that way. Okay, we've got him now, right? Just don't let him get past you, all right? Stop, Steve! Stop! That car has not been paid for! You know, in many ways, animals are more sensitive than humans. Hey, so is my eggplant. No, no, I'm talking about animals' ears. They can hear much better than humans can. <coughs> oh, yeah, and I heard that, giving me wolf whistles at your age. No, not a wolf whistle. It's a skippy whistle. That's how the kid used to call for skippy. Everybody knows that. It's here in my Trivia Maniacs TV almanac. because he was cleverer than your average Australian. Or, but not Dieter Brummer, of course, or, or, or Mel Gibson, or Rolf Harris. No, he was smarter than Rolf Harris, obviously. It's Sir John. Here's a man He's falling a down a cliff, and they need a I helicopter Skippy, to winch him off, so they Who send Skippy help? for help. I didn't know that Skippy was also a top DJ. Watch the old MC Marsupial pump up the volume. Sorry about all that bouncing earlier. <laughs> it was very silly, wasn't it? We promised we won't do anything like that again, don't we, Malcolm? That's right. And now... Wait a minute. What are you doing up there? Well, I got the idea from Mike and Angelo. Ah, Mike and Angelo. That's page 235, if I remember correctly. Here we are. Now, Angelo was an alien with an amazing range of powers. And he first met Mike when he materialised from a wardrobe. Doesn't say what sort of wardrobe. <laughs> you think they'd have that in a book like this, wouldn't you? That kind of information. Yes. They do that. Very clever. Anyway, things go from bad to worse when Angelo, whose amazing powers have now given him a beard, is sent to do the shopping. 
Stop looking over my shoulder. Shopping. That reminds me. Did you do that shopping I sent you out for earlier? Yes, of course. What the? What's all this? Question, Angelo. Oh, uh, it's your shopping. My shopping. Yes. Oh boy. What's that? That's the moose. What moose? The raspberry moose. Where's the raspberry? Angelo. And what's this? And this? And what is that? Oh, yes. The tube of toothpaste. <laughs> ah, I couldn't get the toothpaste, so I just got the tuber. Where did you get all this stuff? Well, it wasn't easy. I spent a long time looking for it. What's the matter? Can you imagine anyone stupid enough to make those sort of mistakes? Where's Dad? <clears throat> what have you got there? Oh, nothing. Um, I just have to pop back to the shops. Well, that's good timing, because we're about to take a break, too. Where do you think you're going without me, Malcolm? Um... Hey, how about now for the big competition to win a trip to the Baywatch Beach? Now feels good to me. Come on! Come on, come on! Come it's on. Jason on. At 2A Simmons from Baywatch again. No, Jason, not now, mate. I'll let you know when we're ready, OK? Anyway, as I was saying, we're about to take a break, after which we'll be back with more Simply the Best from CITV, your chance to win a trip to the Baywatch Beach, see how they film dramas like The Ward, and East 17 in the flesh. East 17! She needs hospital treatment! She thinks she's super grand! No, actually, I think I'm Little John, but I think super grand sounds better. Super grand with super strength. In fact, I'm going to rip a telephone book in half. One. Maybe you'd rather see the real super grand in action. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a granny on a flying bike. for the bay, great! Yes, a super grand with superpowers and super transport. And of course, she never had any problem parking. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Probably now is a good time to take another break. But we'll be back soon with our big birthday competition to win a trip to the Baywatch Beach and more East 17. No, we're just about to go to the next clip. What? Huh? Malcolm Jeffries. All right, then. If it makes you feel any more comfortable, you can call me Commissioner. Just hurry up. We'll be right there, Commissioner. To the battle balls. Too tense. Far too violent. Make us all a nice cup of tea. Batman isn't realistic. This is better than virtual reality. You can't come in! But we got an interview with Malcolm Jeffries. Oh. Take that! Oh. Take that where? Where? Take that. Thought you had me, didn't you, Grandpa? It's all right now. I've got myself. 
under control. I bet they're trying to sneak in the back door. Who? A17. Oh, no. You can't get me. I told you. I'm in complete control. I told you you should go around the back door. Come here. E17. Hello. My face. My hair. How's it going? How's it going? How's it going? I don't want to give you white the feet. The goggles are a little hands We did. We did. Oh, no trouble getting in? No. 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 See you in a bit of trouble at the front door, but that's going to be. She's always doing that. I'm sorry for yes. embarrassing. But actually, you can help us there. Um, how do you cope with female fans like that? It's not as bad as you think. It's not as bad. I mean, Gabby's probably the worst. <laughs> I'm saying so. Well, she's a bit light-headed. Yeah. Now, you boys, <laughs> you look very fit to me. And what I'd like to know is, do you have a fitness regime? Because <laughs> I have. Uh, um, um, for a fried breakfast every morning. Uh, fried breakfast, yes. Fried breakfast. And you breakfast. like to weightlifting and everything? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Steady aerobics? On tour, like, we, to we took loads of vitamins yeah, I do more and aerobics. stuff. Did you? Yeah. Well, it you probably work. don't get proper meals. No, no I, don't, I don't feed you. <laughs> no. And then you've had your fried breakfast. Oh, you should come round, shouldn't they? Come round. Come round yeah. for a gravy dinner oh, one yeah. day. Malcolm yeah. will arrange it. Yeah. That'd be lovely. Yeah. A17, that's a bit of a funny name for a band, isn't it? I mean, what, what do you call yourselves that for, then? It's not like you don't come from that area or nothing, are you? No, no, we come from um, Woodford, which is IG8, but don't sound as good, so we called it E7. E8, E8. But we never done the last three letters of postcode, because you can never remember them, can you? No, but the post office get a bit fed they up. They don't like it. They don't, right. do they? Well, uh, so what's the ITV shows that do you like to watch or familiar with, or well, favourites over the past few years? Mm. Batman, the old one, yeah. where he was a bit chubby, <laughs> <laughs> with the old cartoon powers and charms. though, wasn't it? Yeah, mate. <laughs> so what's up for uh, E17 in the future, then? We've uh, got a new album coming out. And? Australia Friday, coming Friday, you'll also be with us, I think. Uh, yeah, Friday, the awards, the awards on Friday. Oh, Hopefully. Hopefully. Oh, Hopefully. We can't wait till Well, you know, Grand does accept checks. You need a pair of... Uh, Roller boots. If you a little bribe, maybe we can fix them. You've got a pair of doors. I've got a pair of doors in the mm. Thanks for coming around, boys. Yeah, well, Cheers, man. And uh, we'll see you on Friday. Thanks for the tea, Kate. Oh, really? That's right. Um, oh, that's that lady. <laughs> watch out, watch out for Grant. All right. She's somewhere around. Where is she? Oh, come on. All right, boys. Thank you, boys. Cheers. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Cheers. Bye. 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 And now, at long last, it's time for our first Simply the Best birthday competition. Aussie lifeguard Jason Simmons has been standing by waiting to give us the question, and he joins us now live by satellite. Jason. Yes, Jason, you're on now. What, now? Yes, now. These Hollywood stars. Hi, and welcome to Malibu Beach in California, where we film Baywatch. Looks better than being in that house, isn't it? I bet you wish you were here, right? Well, you just could be. CITV has a week's holiday here to be one for you and an adult. Not only that, but you'll find out what a lifeguard does in winter by visiting the set of Baywatch Nights, a new detective series. Oh, not only that, but you'll look, get a can signed by me and the rest of the Baywatch cast to keep. To enter, answer this question. What's the sea called off Malibu Beach? Is it A, the Californian Sea, B, the Pacific Ocean, or C, the Atlantic Ocean? Call now with your answer on 0891 but get permission first from whoever pays the bill. The winner will be picked at random from all the correct entries and announced tomorrow. Oh, and 40 runners-up will get prizes too. Five hours of action on video from Robin and Sherwood. Good luck. Oh, and hey, guys, catch. Thank you. I better go and get into my bikini. <laughs> oh, excuse me, lovey. Thank you. Where are you 17? I'm ready now. Um, I'm sorry, Gabby, you've missed them. But don't worry, uh, we'll have juice tomorrow. Juice? With Paul and Craig. <gasps> and Lisa and Kelly, and we'll also have Sooty and Sweep. Virgil will be talking to us from Thunderbird 2, and in tomorrow's big birthday competition, you could win a trip to watch the scheduled launch of a special. And even if it means I have to spend another day with this lot, I'm definitely going to be around for that. So I'll see you then. Bye. 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 Bye.
Goodbye. Simply the best CITV. Sponsored by Kellogg's. The best of you for the next 40 years.